first awards, they're the fresh awards and they recognise everything that's wonderful about produce, uh, from fruit and veg to flowers, uh, even bloggers who, who write about it. And it's a huge innovation for Sydney markets, going gangbusters with the thousands of people who work right here at Sydney markets. And with me now is the winner of the inaugural Florist of the Year Award and new revamp Fresh Awards, Jodie McGregor. Now, Jodie, um, how does it feel to win? It's a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal for us. It's, um, first of all, it was a lovely surprise, but great recognition of what we're doing in our store uh, every day, trying to um, showcase all the flowers that are, um, we're getting at Sydney Markets. So what's your average, I mean, this place here has been servicing Sydney for, what, two centuries? Yes, so I can't yeah. imagine, you probably came in a horse and cart in those days, but what's your yeah. average day like here? Average, well it's very quick. Um, we are here before the gates, well the roller doors open at uh, five o'clock. So you want to be ready to go. Um, it's pretty organised chaos. You have an idea in your mind what you'd like to get and the things you need to get. But um, once once you get in, it's a matter of what's available, what's really lovely. Um, and sort of not jostling, but you know, trying to make sure you get around and um, you know, get the best of what you can. So it's not like a, a Boxing Day sale where you're elbowing people no. the sale with those roses. Yeah, well, um, we do have the benefit of um, speaking with the growers. Of, you know, they know what we like and after doing it for nearly 20 years, most growers um, have things aside for, for oh, us right. that, you know, they know that we, we love. And um, so we do get that, that sort of nice special treatment. Yeah. with some things, but um, yeah, there's a lot of things you just want to see what's really good. You know, one week um, something is really beautiful quality, the next week it's completely gone. So it's, mm -hmm. yeah, trial and error and um, just, yeah, work, it's the nature of the beast, you know, just choosing what's nice on the day, not getting too stressed about it. So the growers, you say, keep things aside for you. Yes. The special things they know that you love. So what do you love? Oh, I love everything, um, and every season has a different um, element. So, I, yeah, I couldn't give you like exacts. Like, I love, um, I just love combinations. Like, if it's lo something really lovely and soft and elegant, paired with something really nice and gnarly and textured. So it's kind of um, contrasting. Um, yeah, I, I just love what's what's good quality and what's in season. I, yeah. So as a, as a punter, if I go to buy some flowers, how, how do you tell that they're fresh and they're good quality? My advice would be to look at the stems of the flowers. Usually the stem will age really quickly. It might, um, if it's not fresh, it might be a little bit brown. Leaves might be a little bit tatty. And what do you do to keep your flowers lasting as long as they can? Just make sure they're in the right spot. So they, they need to be in a cool spot where they're not in direct sunlight. Um, make sure it's really ideal if you could cut the stems before they go back into the water. That just breaks the seal on the stem so they're going to drink. Um, and then also they're not going to do well if they're in dirty water. So every two days change the water, mm -hmm. recut the stem so it's open and that should, should make them last as well as possible. And why, why use a florist? I mean, why every, you can go anywhere as a customer and buy flowers. Why use a florist? Right. Um, I would suggest that f most florists have their flowers stored in ideal conditions. Um, they're, you, you know, hopefully in air conditioned indoors. Um, also, a f like I, I think florists have the best interests of the flowers in mind. They're not selling other products. Um, they're specialised in that area. They can give you good advice. Um, and hopefully, if you do use a one florist, that you can build up a rapport and get. Um, you know, some really great advice on how to make your flowers look really good. Mm, mm. So what's your favourite flower, if you had to pick one? Have to pick one would be gardenias. Right, yeah. why? Oh, just memory flower. Like I remember them growing up, um, just picking them with my mum and the smell's beautiful. Um, yeah, I think that's definitely my favourite. They're such little. I know. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. Like, I thought it would be a big arrangement with spiky things. Yeah, no, I, do, I, I particularly love flowers that um, bring up memories for me. Yeah, so 
I've got a long list of them. <laughs> but yeah. Well, we, we, we don't have all day. We can go into why, yeah. but we won't go there. Yeah. Jodie McGregor, congratulations to you and your team. I know you've been doing this for what, 18 years? Yes. Something like yeah. that. Well deserved. Thanks, Chris. That's our florist of the year at Sydney Markets in the Pressure Woods.